The good news is they make a little bit more electricity than it takes to turn the light bulb on top on. That one is making enough electricity this second for about 100,000 people. So you can forget about towns, most small cities. They could be run exclusively off one of those generators. That's one of 21 generators here at Bonneville. Now this project is water on this tour. But if you could, you'd see this. Basically, it's a man-made waterfall. You've got three swimming pools a second falling 60 feet onto the blades of these turbines. Makes them spin, just like a child blowing on a pinwheel, right? 70 rotations per minute goes up this shaft to the rotor. The rotor's a big disc, you'll see it. It spins that same 70 RPM on its outside edge are 105 electromagnets. Now they're powerful magnets, but just like the magnets you folks are used to, they've got north poles, south poles, they push and they pull as they spin. They push and they pull against these. Copper coils like this, more than 500 of them lined up along the outside. Now these coils are static, they can't move, and those magnets spin past and push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Now if you folks start pushing and pulling on me like that, I have orders and that's to run away as fast as I can. Interestingly, that's what the electrons in these copper atoms do when those magnets are pushing and pulling on them. How this powerhouse is turning on lights in Hollywood, it's there. That's the beauty of the electricity. Right? You could try putting gasoline in those wires, sending it somewhere a thousand miles a second, but I don't think it would end up. When all 10 generators are coming in, you can really see the whole floor of water coming down this river. Continuous. Engineers say you can turn it on and walk away from it as long as it's staying in its 